Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 66 of Forza Motorsport 2. In this episode, we're doing some things a little bit different here. So, we're doing more race car stuff. As you can tell, I'm in a Viper because we are going to be taking on the last regional championship here, which is our two subclass cars from the United States of America, which also means R3 or R2. And I found out while searching for a car to use that... Uh, the only R2 class cars from America? Oh. Oh, the C6. Oh, I don't have those unlocked, do I? Wait, do I have those unlocked? Hold on. I didn't pay attention. Hold up. I feel like I looked and there are, were not any unlocked. I was correct. Uh, yeah, so I don't have any R2 class American cars unlocked. So... What the deal is, is that I'm going to use this Viper, which is R3 class, and I'm probably going to set the AI to easy so I can hopefully win. I feel, I don't know if there's a huge difference between R2 and R3, but uh, I don't really want to lose, especially if it's like eight laps long on Sunset Peninsula. So we'll see. We'll just have to see how this goes. And also, the other thing is that I'm streaming this live on YouTube at the moment. Uh, for you that are watching this video, you're not going to be watching it live, obviously. But we have a few people in here and just wanted to stream something. I was like, hey, this is a pretty decent idea. So you won't be able to see the chat on the screen because I have yet to figure out how I want to do something like that. Uh, so if you want to see it, I might, I'll just leave the, the stream itself up in, like, unlisted mode. And, uh, you can watch it at a link in the description below. This will probably be, like, two or three different episodes of this game that I'll be recording today. So, you'll get to see some stuff early, maybe, too. I don't know. Something like that. But we'll see. So far, I think uh, easy mode is our friend here. Also, I found out recently that the Elgato game capture software now lets you use it in like OBS and also record at the same time, which is pretty neat. I'm trying to keep an eye on my preview too to make sure I'm not dropping frames or anything because I have not streamed in a while and I don't really have, uh, I don't know what I was saying there. I haven't streamed in a while. And that's it. <laughs> that's what I'm going to say. That's where I'm going to leave it. Uh, so it appears I might try medium, honestly. I don't know, how, like, if there's an absolutely huge difference between R2 and R3 class, but I might try medium for the next race just to see how it goes. If it doesn't, then oh well. Oh shit. I'm not paying attention. That's going to be a problem while streaming, is that I'm going to get distracted easily, but it's worth it. Maybe. And if this works out well, I'll probably end up streaming a lot more in the future, so... Those of you who didn't catch us live will hopefully be able to catch something live. I have a Twitter notification. Also, another thing that sucks is that I do not have any uh, any way to hear my desktop right now. So if something happens, like, that's making sounds on my desktop, it's going to be a problem that I'm not going to know about until later. So I'm going to hope that nothing happens. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. No, actually, I'll be fine because I'm on streamer mode on Discord. That should mute all of the notifications there. I don't know. We'll see. I was debating on streaming on Twitch, but I was like, eh. I want to try it on YouTube. And here we are trying it on YouTube. I don't think. Let me make sure. Let's see. Can I keep that open? I'm trying to decide on which. I'll, I'll keep this open. On my computer. I'm trying to figure out what I should keep open. Uh, 
I'm just really hoping that my computer doesn't explode while trying to record and stream at the same time. That's the one thing I'm most worried about right now. I have a good computer, but uh, that doesn't mean it's kill proof, exploding proof. I am six seconds ahead of my split time. Yeah, I might be able to do uh, medium. I'm not gonna lie, I might be able to do medium. I'm eight seconds ahead already on beginning of lap three. I think this will be okay. Hello, Omar. Welcome to the stream. And to this episode of Forza 2, kind of, almost. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm, left, I'm 11 seconds ahead. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'll let's play Forza 3 sometime in the future. I don't know when specifically, because I have a few ideas of how I can do stuff like that. Work my way to Forza 3 instead of just doing it like right away after this game. I don't. It's not going to be right away for sure. Horizon series, I definitely plan to play in the future. I was actually playing. Uh, Horizon 1 waiting for 5 o'clock to roll around to start streaming this and I'm like damn I really like this game I really want to play through it again and like 100% it but those things will be in the future at some point because I have not decided if I want to do the entire Forza series in order and like go Forza 1, 2, 3, 4, Horizon 5, Horizon 2 you know like that or just start on Horizon and keep, as a, keep it as its own thing so I definitely plan to, but I don't know when, for sure. I still, like I said, I, I've mentioned how I want to play through Need for Speed games once I hit a thousand subscribers on this channel, and that will be happening at some point. Who knows when? But it may be sooner, maybe later. Uh, but I, I don't know. It depends on when I feel like it, honestly. <laughs> It's not like I don't want to play it, but I just have so many games I want to play. And me, being as anal as I am, I like to keep things kind of organized. And, you know, do one series at a time or something. One series of games, I should say. But, I don't know. Like, I can tell you, there's a list of, like, 180 games on Steam that I have that I'd like to play through at some point. For a, uh, for a video series. And that's only on Steam. That's not including, like, disc games for PC, PS2 games, PS3 games, Xbox 360 games, all that. So, it's, uh, it's gonna be an adventure. But, considering how much just time I have now to do stuff... Uh, maybe happening a little bit quicker at least. But for now, I have my sights set on Dirt and also this game. Although Dirt... I'm going to be honest with you, Dirt's probably not going to take me much longer to finish up recording. Because I have over half the game recorded now, and it's not like a super long game. Like, I still have more time left to play of this game than I have total to do in Dirt. From episode 1 to episode 66 or whatever is going to be the last one. Uh, Dirt 2, I'd like to start Dirt 2 at some point. But again, uh, it depends, really. 
Because Dirt 2 is a game that I never really played much, so I'm actually kind of excited to get into it. But again, I don't really know what my plan is for what games to play uh, until I start playing them pretty much. That's what a lot of people say is that's underrated. And like, I can get that because it's it's just, I think it's too different from Dirt 1 for most of like Dirt 1 fans to really enjoy it. But of course I like Dirt 3, I played Dirt 3 quite a bit and uh, I played Dirt 4 quite a bit so. And I've kind of grown to just be more open-minded I guess over the last couple of years at least. So I think, I think I'll enjoy my let's play of it. And also there's Dirt Showdown at some point too. I'll have to play that. That is a game that I've played for like 10 minutes and then I stopped playing it. Dirt 2 at least I have like an hour or two in it. But yeah, for any game that you, you wonder about me let's playing is probably on a like a mental list of sorts for me to play through. It's just, you know, it's whatever I decide to play. I like to keep things somewhat in order most of the time, except for stuff like Project Gotham Racing Series, which the only one I have left to play is the first one. And uh, what's the other one that I fucked up on? Oh, Burnout. I played Burnout Paradise first and then Burnout 3. Yeah, that's, uh, that's how you do it right there. That's how you be professional. But I'll also, if I don't know of a game, I'd like to take suggestions of it. If anybody has a game like that's kind of obscure. I have a few already that I'd like to play through, but I'm sure I don't know of all of them. It's funny because this is basically just going to be like a podcast with also Forza 2 in the background with the live streams. That's what this game's good at, honestly. I like how OBS just consistently says zero viewers, even though I don't think that's true. I don't think OBS does very well with YouTube. At least it shows the chat. And apparently it has notifications for various things, so... That's neat, I guess. Again, this is my first time streaming on YouTube in like... Four or five years, at least. So I'm still kind of uh, learning the ropes of it. Obviously, I have quite a bit of experience with streaming on, like, Twitch and stuff, and I also started streaming on YouTube years and years and years ago, but things have changed a lot since then. What I like so far is that I'm actually, uh, I'm streaming at, like, 10,000 kilobits per second. So, like, 10 megabits per second at 1080p60. Because YouTube has, uh, quality options no matter what, I think. Also, apparently... You can stream in like 1440p and 4K on YouTube, which I'm curious about. Anyways, there's our first race done. I was very far ahead. Best lap was four seconds ahead of second place, or actually five seconds. But, all right, let's continue. We got 51,000 credits. Almost had 53. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna be at level 45 at some point before I need to do stuff and things. Anyways, uh, Dodge Level stuff. Yeah, Dodge Level 1 reward. Yeah, I definitely plan on streaming again if this goes well, which I mean, so far it, it is, considering <laughs> just the fact that there's actually people watching it live. Uh, yeah, this is uh, working out much better than even if I were to stream on Twitch or something. So yes, I do believe I will be streaming again in the future, and I'll probably end up streaming more than just, you know, 
Forza 2. But this will be the game for today, at least. Okay, I'm going to do this because I think I can do this on medium. I think... I hope I could pass the R2 class cars. But we'll see. Am I catching up at all? No. Okay. We're just gonna... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to restart. So yeah, uh, R3 class car, not quite as, uh, as powerful as the R2 class cars. So let's go ahead and do this again real quick. It was worth a try, at least. I'm not too upset about it. But, whatever. Okay, everybody's going slow. <laughs> Sorry, starting off great. Hello, Selena7. Hello, C6R. I think... What do I want from this? A Panos, I think? Just kind of a crap gift. Give me one of the damn R2 class cars. Give me the Corvette. Or this S7. I feel like I should have had one of the S7 race cars unlocked by now, but I guess not. Oh, shit. Let's switch my computer back over real quick, actually. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, this is working out a lot better. <laughs> Hello, Marcus. Welcome. Welcome to the first live installment of Forza. Well, not this first live installment, because I have streamed this on Twitch before. The first YouTube live uh, word that I can't remember. I was just saying thing. Live stream of Forza 2. There we go. Okay, no death on the final corner, please. That would be fantastic. Doing well in Forza 2. That's good. I'm doing okay. I tried to switch it to medium and I lost, so now we're uneasy. I was losing, I should say. Because uh, multi-class races are kind of difficult whenever you're in the lower class and you need to get in first. Buy lots of cars most of in the USA. Understandable. I'd like to buy all the cars in this game and get all the achievements for buying all the cars, but that's expensive. And I don't want to do the money glitch. Mostly because I can't do the money glitch, on, especially on this profile, because, you know, uh, I'm already 70-something percent through this game, and I have all the DLC installed, and I won't be able to delete the update. But I can still buy locked cars. I could have done that to buy the S7, but I decided not to cheat. I decided not to ex exploit a bug in the game. Sometimes I would do that, but not so much in a Let's Play. Yeah, there's some decent graces to grind in this game. You can get a decent amount of money from grinding. I used to grind a, I think it was a 350 horsepower event race on Nissan Speedway. It would give you like 20, 25 grand or something each time. I had a car that was like super OP in it. Actually, if I remember right, it was the Wings West Civic, oddly enough. Oh god, I can't wait until I do some of the other races, or some of the professional races, and the endurance races, and I get to use, like, D and C class cars again. I'm so excited for that. My favorite cars to use. 
I would have used a Corvette if uh, I would have had an R2 unlo unlocked during this. The C5R or the C6R. But the game's like, nope, you don't have those unlocked yet. That kind of sucks. I'm like, I don't care. I'll use a Viper and go on easy mode. I think this series has five races too, actually, I think about it. It's a uh, decently long race series. There's some Corvettes over there somewhere in like second and third place. I like how the fuel cap is in the middle of the back window in this car. That's uh, a great place to put it. It's probably just got a fuel cell back there and just goes straight into the fuel cell. My phone keeps lighting up because people keep going live on Twitch. I don't even know why I have Twitch notifications still on my phone. I never look at them. Honestly, if I know somebody's streaming, it's because either A, I saw it on Twitter, B, I saw it on Discord, and I believe that's it, actually. Those are the only two places I see when people actually are streaming. Or I just happen to be on the actual Twitch page, like, for following. Fuck that cone. I am destroyer of cones. I might take a picture for a thumbnail here in a second, actually. What am I looking at? Oh, yeah. What about there? feel like I might possibly die after uh, unpausing, but it'll be all right. I'm just going to do that, like, right about... Mm, a little bit. There we go. That'll work. I'll take the photo in a second. That'll work. Take that. Okay. Back on the racing. I love how the game always just lags as soon as I exit photo mode and get back onto the track. It's like, hmm, you did something that you weren't supposed to do. Kind of.
gonna take maybe an hour to do. Maybe a little bit over an hour. Judging by my race time so far. Please, Viper. Car is slightly dirty. Or slightly filthy, more so. Oh damn, I'm about to lap people. Eh, I might not actually make it to him. Oh jeez. It's not how you're supposed to do that. It's still not how you're supposed to do that. Fun fact, that is incorrect. Almost 36 seconds ahead of second place. It's alright. I'm just a good driver, that's all. Smile. And there we go, there's our race at Road Atlanta done. Got five seconds better lap time than second place, in the C6R. Not too shabby at all. 53,000 credits, almost level 44. We are level two actually it was already no wait huh interesting i have two twitter notifications all right next race i'll have to remember to take this off of easy once i get to the next series event i should say actually close out of every tab I don't need on Google Chrome real quick. Okay, let's go. We are on Sebring. Full? Yeah, Sebring full. Four or six laps. Nothing I can't handle. And there I go. Past everybody. This car is like very white when it's not dirty, I'm realizing. I thought it was just kind of gray, but it's it's not. It's white. It was just filthy in that last race. Their last two races, I guess. I also find it nice that we are going to a bunch of American tracks. Since the Peninsula to Road Atlanta, now Sebring. Because we're doing the American R2 series or whatever. Very nice. Nice little slight attention to detail. Road America is in this game, it was DLC. So you never get to drive it in career mode. You can only drive it in multiplayer and free roam. Or not free roam, but uh, like time trial. Or free run. It was DLC. I, sh I think I said that already, but... This was before they actually started integrating DLC to the into the career, sadly. I think that might have started with Forza 3 or Forza 4. I don't remember which one had it. I know one of them did, at least. Forza 4 for sure does. Uh, uh Yeah, I guess. What was the other DLC track? Because Road America was a DLC for this game, absolutely.
Oh, Twin Ring Mot Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about Twin Ring Motegi. But yes, I guess there were two track packs. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I have those, but then I was like, oh yeah, I have the complete edition of this game, so I have every DLC, no matter what. I think the only DLC I was really missing before was, like, pre-order stuff. And I wasn't even missing it, because I had it on an old profile, but uh, it for some reason wouldn't let me use it on a different profile, and that old profile may or may not have gotten banned off of Xbox Live. Shh, don't worry about it. I like how this car says something about turbo on the back of it. It says it says like fat turbo. Fat turbo express. But it doesn't have a turbo. Which is disappointing. My car says turbo on it. I want it to have a turbo. As eyelashes at least. Number 58. Racing line. Special and... Wait. What does this say? Hold on. I gotta look at this up close. What does it say right over here? Special and executive bodywork. Not executive, executive. <laughs> what the hell? Why is it why is it misspelled? Is it misspelled? It's not even on this side. What the hell? That's that's funny. It's the little details that count, right? Also, God, the liveries were so low res in this game. I'm glad they fixed that decently well in Forza 3 and 4. Because, like, race cars are cool and all, but I like, uh, I like my liveries to have at least some pixels. Just some. Oh god, too early on the gas. Too antsy. Split time is minus one second. I'm surprised. Didn't think I did that bad on a lap before, on second lap. All right, halfway through. Did get a best lap, two minutes, seven, six, five. Not too shabby. Gee, I can't wait until the last race of this game where I'm on this track for an hour and a half or something in R1 class cars. Still have yet to decide of what R1 class car I actually want to use for that. I might go with the classic, aka the same car I used the last time I played through this game. 
which was the Ferrari F3333333 SP. But there's some other interesting R1 cars out there. Then again, I can use one of those. Actually, two of those, I guess. Maybe three. I don't know. On other events that I still have yet to do. I actually haven't done an R1 class event, have I? At all. Yet. Never driven an R1 class car yet. Huh. Have I even won any R1 class cars? Have I won any R2 class cars? I think. I don't know. Still doing better than my split time, too. If I get a 159-something, that'd be fantastic. Honestly. I would dig a sub two minute lap time. Okay, let's see. jump over there. Go! Mm, 695. If I take this last corner good, might be able to get a sub two. Maybe. That's not very well. Not very good. We'll see. 159. Ooh, I got a 159.7. Better than I expected. I was expecting to barely beat it. Like a 159.9. Alright. I see you. I dig it. Aerotech is not playing a set of Corsa. Is Aero streaming? I don't remember. I might have started streaming recently. So I'm going to guess, because I didn't pay attention close enough to the other tracks, I'm going to guess that we have Maple Valley and Laguna Seca left to go in the series. I'm, it's, that's my guess for which tracks we're going to be on. I think those are the only two American tracks left. That aren't the three that I've already raced on. Well, King Cobra, I guess. I don't want to race on King Cobra, though. Please don't send me to King Cobra. I like the little ones, I don't like King Cobra. Move my microphone up a little bit so I can actually sit straight up. My back is like, you've been sitting down for too long. It's time to hurt. complex string. Funny thing, I've actually never played GT3 past, like, the first race or two. Don't hate me, but that is definitely the truth. I've only barely played Gran Turismo 3. Uh, we have two races left after this one, Omar. Also, welcome back. I would love to play through GT3 at some point, but that requires me playing through GT1 and 2. And I found out recently that I am not good at either of those games. I am garbage at GT1 and 2. Like, I was just trying to get licenses, not even gold, on GT1, and I couldn't do it for half of them without, like, taking, like, 5 to 10 attempts. So, yeah. I did have a GT4 playthrough going on my Twitch, and I don't know what to do with that. What's next after this event? I don't know. Probably whatever's left in, uh, right, no, not rivalry face-offs, but, uh, one make races. Factory spec. I think that would be a Porsche 911 GT2 race. 
is the next one. I kind of like to continue my GT4 playthrough. Hmm. How do? How do indeed? Or I might just wait until I actually let's play the game and just do it then. All right, there's three races done. This just kind of smacked my microphone by accident. It's all right. Another 53K. We have reached level 44. And we have 349,000 credits to level 45. And we have new supercar models in the McLaren dealership. Yeah, I figured live streaming would be fun. I can actually talk to people. And, haha, I was right. We do have Maple Valley and Laguna Seca to do. Haha, -ha, I know what I'm talking about, vaguely. Also, for any of you here, if you'd like to find me on other places, there's links and stuff in the description below to like my Twitter and stuff. And my Discord, if you can join and hang out in. I totally post a lot in there. Smile. I don't know what to blame for the lack of posting on my Discord, honestly. It's not like I mean to not post on it. It's just I never get around to it. But you can still join it. I'll announce when I'm live streaming and whenever I'm doing a new Let's Play or something. All the importante stuff. Oh, please don't cuck me. Okay. I almost destroyed myself there without the help of the AIs, but luckily did not come to that. I don't really know what you mean by I can have it, but I, I agree with you on the ch live stream chat being good. For something like this, at least. It gives me something to talk about while I'm playing. Because as I mentioned, this is basically just like turning into a podcast that features Forza Motorsport 2 in the background. Uh, don't hit the wall. Okay, I didn't hit the wall. Random note, I'm really glad that I'm redoing this Let's Play because I was skimming through old videos. I think I might have mentioned this actually in the last episode that I recorded before this one. Uh, but I was watching my old Forza 2 Let's Play and oof, it was not good. It started out okay, even though I didn't have commentary on it. But it quickly devolved into me using the exact same car for like 10 events. Uh, cutting events up in really random spots like halfway through a race that would be the end of the episode i don't know how that worked i don't know why my brain was like hey this is a great idea but uh all in all it's just I'm, I'm i'm glad to be doing this again and actually be having uh some sort of you know quality assurance on it I mean, the thing is, is that I would use the same card for a long time or different events, because, like, I don't really care. But for these Let's Plays, I really like showing off as many cars in the game as I can in whatever game I'm playing. So, in a game like this, I try and use a different car every event or every episode. And I also did the same in, like, PGR 4 and Fred 2 and PGR 2. It didn't really work out. But, honestly, it's, it's just, it's like a Let's Play thing to me. Like, I could completely understand using the same car for a bunch of events, like, shit. Honestly, I used the... In Forza Motorsport 3, 
when I was playing through it back in the day, you know, back in 2009, 2010, somewhere on there, uh, I may or may not have used the Ford Fusion, the DLC Ford Fusion, for like 30 events. Not even joking. I used it so much and didn't regret it at all because I, I just love the fact that there was a Fu Ford Fusion in a uh, Forza game. I too love cars from all over the world. There's hardly any cars that I can say that I really don't like. I plan on doing the arcade mode. It's just going to be after the career. Oh, jeez. As far as I was living that much better this lab. Maybe I got more penalties? I don't know. Is the Team Orca Viper in this game? The the number 91? I can't remember. I could use that for Rhino. Even though I don't know if Rhino actually watches these videos because he's got his own things going on, but... Again, I don't know what I'm going to let's play Forza Motorsport 3 or 4 or any game past this one. I'm focusing on finishing this game right now. And... Uh, super long games are great and all, but I don't know. They're not the easiest games to play through successfully. It takes a very dedicated person, which I feel like I could be that dedicated, but also look at the breaks I've taken while playing this game. I've taken like month long, two month long breaks in between episodes of this, and this isn't even the long one. Like, Forza Motorsport 3 is, like, three times the amount of parts or, like, the amount of events that this game has. Oh, no, I don't want to... Okay, don't go over there. Yeah, I didn't have any R2-class American cars unlocked, so I have to use R3. 25 episodes left? That sounds right. For the career. Again. I could have, probably could have looked and seen if I could have done an event first to unlock an R2 class American car. I don't know. Oh well. Again, I'm not a 100% hard mode completionist kind of person. I just play through games. Do whatever my heart, uh, heart desires. Hence why I didn't 100% Midnight Club LA or Midnight Club LA Remix. Or Test Drive Unlimited. I would like to go back and redo Test Drive Unlimited though, my, my let's play of it at some point. Also, I'd like to go through the PS2 version, but that's a story for a different time because I have to figure out a version that actually works and looks good for that. Damn, split time minus one second. I was not expecting to get that on lap six or lap five. I am 34 seconds ahead of the AI. It's either that or I'm two seconds behind. There's no in between.
feel like the split of this car should be just smacking the ground on every bump I hit. It looked like it was really close. Oh god, not the correct way to take that. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, I didn't actually hit the wall. <laughs> I was expecting to smash my back end on that wall. Alright. I don't know if I call that a save, but uh, it was a uh, hope to not hit the wall. <laughs> Somehow it worked. Only nine seconds behind my sweat time. Oh, I'm not doing this last corner very well. Eh, yeah, whatever. Anyways, that's Maple Valley done. Almost 10 seconds better, lap times. 53 grand. 296k to level up. I'm gonna hit level five in this car, which is cool. 10% discount on blah 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 blah. How about them apples? All right, Laguna Seca. I'm gonna get a drink while I'm in here. Uh, this stream will last a few hours. I don't know how long specifically. I might do three events or so. In this stream. Depends on how I feel, honestly. I might go till 10 o'clock. If I feel like it, but... We'll see. Uh, wait, there's a Team Orca Viper right there. Isn't it? Oh. Uh... Excuse me, Max Pappas, what? That would be uh, C C5R? Oh, it is. <laughs> I didn't realize that their last name was Pappas. Oh, it's it's real driver. I forgot about that. This game does real driver names for uh, like r race class events. I completely forgot about that until now. And you are correct. This isn't the, the XP Viper, it's, uh... Or are you talking about the other, one of the other Vipers? Because the XP might be in here. I don't know. I don't know the numbers. Hello, Celine. I would like to pass you, please. You are going so slow. I know why you're going slow, but... I'm okay with Laguna Seca. It's not my favorite track, but it's not... I hated it for a little bit, actually. After playing this game originally, I despise this track. Because it just... It, it's in every single event for, like, the last 20 or 30 events. Well, almost every event. And, uh... I wasn't a huge fan of it anyways. So by, like... I think it was... I can't remember if it was my original Let's Play of this game or if it was my Let's Play of Forza 1 on this channel that I'm on right now. But one of those, I was just like, this track sucks. I don't want to do it anymore. What's my favorite tracks? I like, honestly, out of this game, honestly, Maple Valley is my favorite track. And Forza, at least Forza 1 through 4, probably. 
because obviously it's not in Forza 5 and 6, and it was in Forza 7. But Maple Valley, I do love Maple Valley. Favorite real track is probably Road Atlanta. It's the one track I've actually visited in real life that's not Gateway Motorsports Park. I'd like to go to Laguna Seca, like the actual real Laguna Seca at some point. But that costs money, which is something I currently don't have. And there's also not really any events going on there that I could just go and walk around at. Uh oh. I'm good. I do like New York. I like New York full, honestly. I like New York full from Forza 1. It's probably my, the one I would consider uh, higher up on my favorites list. I wish it was in more, more games, but... I'm also not a huge fan of Silverstone, probably because of the same reason that I'm not a huge fan of this track. It just ends up being in like every race series. And I just get tired of it. I don't know if I'd say that, considering both games came out about the same time. For Forza 1 and uh, Gran Turismo 4. Because like... They're based off of real New York streets. Oh, I love Alpine Ring from Forza 1. I, I adore Alpine Ring. I really wish it would have came back. Not, I don't like the Bernese Alps. I'm not going to lie. I don't like Bernese Alps from Forza 4 and on. But yeah, I don't think uh, they had much time to copy off of Gran Turismo 4 for New York in Forza 1. But I would love to see some classic oh tracks from Forza games come back in a newer Forza game. I'm hoping that Forza eight, or Forza Eight, but Forza Motorsport, the next Forza Motorsport game, has some more uh, some more older tracks on it. Like they brought back Maple Valley. Maple Valley kind of isn't the same as it was, but it's still Maple Valley, and that's all right by me. And Forza Seven, I should say. I know it's not called Forza Eight, but if I say Forza Motorsport, I think of Forza 1, like, on the original Xbox. So, I tend to say Forza 8, still. Because it is technically the 8th one in the series, too. So, no matter what. Like how people call Grid, the new Grid, Grid 2019, and whatever else. I'm excited, speaking of new games, I'm excited to see more of New Forza and also I'm excited to see more of Gran Turismo 7 at some point. If Gran Turismo 7 is good, I might just buy a PS5 for it. I have seen some stuff of Project Cars 3 and I feel like I would probably enjoy it a bit at least because I enjoy Shift 1 and Shift 2. And apparently it's like Shift 3 basically. Uh, but I haven't played it yet myself so I can't really form an opinion on it. And I don't plan to buy it anytime soon because I need money for other things. I wouldn't be surprised if Horizon 5 came after the new Forza. Just because Playground has been working on the new Fable game. Which is interesting to me because I played a little bit of Fable 3 back in the day. Because it was free on Xbox 360 with games for gold. I think it was like the first game that they did that was free for gold. And uh, me and some friends ended up playing it back, that was like seven or eight years ago probably. So I'm vaguely interested in Fable 4. But yeah, I'd love to see, I, I'm really excited to see more of DC7. Just the fact that they brought back like the GT4 style uh, home, or like the, uh, the career menu kind of thing. And use cars. I saw the use car dealership, which is like my favorite thing from Gran Turismo 4 and 5. I'm interested, to say the least. I think I was doing like 134, 135s around this track in the, uh, the Cobra whenever I was using it a couple of uh, episodes ago. And we're doing 123s now. I hope GT7 has a good car list. 
I mean, GT Sport has a good car list, pretty good car list. I mean, there's not a lot, but it does have a pretty good car list. And I expect most of those cars, if not all of them, to be ported over the GT7. So it's it's got a good start, at least. And I'm excited to see what they, they add past that. I'm also excited to see what tracks they have. Besides, you know, the new Trial Mountain and whatever. Yeah, the Dakar GT was in the teaser, wasn't it? I need to watch that again, because it's been a while since I've seen it. Actually, I think I only saw it once, and that was whenever it released. I actually looked at the the complete car list for Project Cars 3 recently, and I was like, dang, that's it's not bad. It's not like a whole lot of stuff I'm interested in, but there's a, there's a decent amount of cars. I'm like, hey, that's pretty neat. And customization, yeah. I might end up playing through Project Cars 3 at some point as a Let's Play on this channel. Maybe. Depends on if I can stomach Project Cars 1 and 2 or if I just don't care about those. I also don't really care for Slightly Mad Studios as a studio, so... You know. It's another reason for me not to give them my, give them my money quite yet. I actually think I own Project Cars 1. I do own Project Cars 1, don't I? I have it on PC. I've played it very little. I don't remember when I had or when I got it. But I definitely own it. But I don't know. As I said, we'll see in the future for uh, those games. Yeah, I saw that pretty much most of the cars were copies from P Project Cars 2. Which I don't really care about because I didn't play Project Cars 2 at all. Damn, I got a best lap. 122.7. Not bad. And, speaking of new games that are going to be coming out, I am excited to see more of to Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. Because, I mean, my name is Test Drive from Test Drive Unlimited, but it's going to be, I think, a more different kind of open world racing game. It's not going to be a Horizon clone. It's not going to be a Need for Speed clone. It's going to be another Test Drive Unlimited game, from what it seems. And I am very excited for that, myself. But, of course, we only have a very, very, very small amount of information right now, so we will uh, see more in the future. But I'm definitely interested to see more on that. I would love to see gameplay of the game, but I don't know if they're... I don't know how far they were with uh, actual production of it yet, considering what they've shown so far. I feel like they're still in middle development, probably. And honestly, if they do a release date for TDU Solar Crown, I'm probably just going to be like, alright, we're playing through Project Paradise, or not Project Paradise, but uh, Test Server Limited 1 Platinum and Test Server Limited 2. 
before it comes out and I'm most likely just going to buy it. Almost done. Getting there. I find it weird that I got a penalty on that corner at one point, and I'm pretty sure I've taken it the same way every time. But there we go. There's that done. Finally. Pretty decently long. It's alright. And. 52,000 credits because I ran into somebody at the beginning of the race and we are a fairly good amount of the way towards level 45 which is good because I need that for event unlocks and dodge level 5 reward which is my first card to reach level 5 for dodge interestingly enough although to be fair I don't think I've reached very, uh, reached level 5 in any mini cars and we got a Panos oh we got the LMP Panos okay I thought it was going to be just the uh, one of the R3 class cars but it wasn't cool and we got 80,000 credits for completing it. Possibly the first R1 car. I don't actually know. I haven't looked at my garage in a while. But there it is. This weird looking thing. And that will conclude this episode of Forza 2. I'm going to have a look at my stats. For those of you watching the stream, the stream is not over. It's just the video is over. So I'm going to, you know, exit out of the video as per normal. But we are 73% of the way through the game, maybe 74, 75 next episode or two. And we've driven 2,500 miles, but that will be it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one.